in January, I am reviewing books that have really helped shape who I am today, especially through their thought leadership. And Malcolm Gladwell is someone who will make you think so differently about every single thing you've ever thought about. Yeah, I love listening to his books on Audible. So I usually download things from Malcolm Gladwell on Audible. I'm going to talk to you about two of his books, Outliers and The Tipping Point. He wrote The Tipping Point first and then Outliers, but I read them in the opposite order. So I read Outliers first. And Outliers talks about the story of success and why we succeed and how sometimes being in the right place at the right time almost inevitably will ensure your success. One of the most interesting stories out of this book that I took away was as an American kid, I always heard that the Chinese were so much better at us than math. And I love math. And I was like, oh, we should really be better at math. And no matter what, the Chinese always outperform us in math. Well, Malcolm says there's a reason for that. It's the way they number their numbers. So when you, ta when you count numbers in Chinese as if they were English, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 110, 210, 310, 410, 510, 610, 710, 810, 910, and then 210, 2010, or you would be like 20. So you're counting by place value. How we count is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is 10's place, 11, which means nothing, 12, which means nothing, and then we go to 13, 14, 15, 16. See how that's place value based? If instead of saying 11 and 12, we said one teen, two teen, we would keep our place value in place. So then when we're saying one teen, you know that that's one in the ones place and one in the tens place. Instead of 11, which is like means nothing, the word 11, you have to see the number 11 and then you have to think one in the ones place, one in the tens place. Chinese language keeps the ones place, tens place, and twenties place consistent. So when you say the number 14, you know that's a 1, a 10, and a 4. And you say the number 16, you know you're adding two teens, so that's 20. 6 plus 4 is 10. Your answer is 30. So just the way that they count eliminates that extra step of having to translate the word 11 into a, a 10. And I know, too much explanation. But I wanted you to really get what I was saying because he more eloquently says it. Things like that, like, okay, well, it makes sense that... Americans are never going to be as good at math as Chinese because our language gives us an extra step that we have to do in a math problem that is going to slow down our comp computation. Intrigued? Okay, so was I. So I downloaded the book, The Tipping Point. I was like, oh, I can't wait the, to hear the next thing that he has to say. Well, in The Tipping Point, that book is all about, The Tipping Point is the name given to that one dramatic moment in an epidemic when everything can change all at once. So kind of like the quantum leap. Like when is it that everything is like, oh, somebody knows about it, somebody knows about it, somebody knows about it, and then everybody knows about it. So at the time of this recording, Rachel Hollis was an, the number one bestseller in 2019, second only to Michelle Obama. And at one point, her own books that she produced were number one and number two on the New York um the New York book list, like it's unheard of. And so yesterday on Jeopardy, she was the answer to a question in the book category. Who had the most book sales in 2019? The people weren't able to answer it, but she is at the tipping point. By the time you watch this video, you probably will have heard of who Rachel Hollis was. Two years ago, very few people knew who Rachel Hollis was. So when is that tipping point? When is the point where you've done so many things that you end up as an answer on Jeopardy? You end up with people who are talking about you in other countries or places that you've never been or people that you've never met. And as a business owner, this hugely intrigued me. And he says that this happens when three things come together. So you need a connector, a maven, and a salesperson. So the, the connector is the person that knows everyone. They literally know everyone. They share by word of mouth. They are people specialists. Then you have the maven. They connect you with new information. That's probably what, like, look at how nerdy my book reviews are. Like, I'm telling you all about information. So new information, they like to initiate conversations in the marketplace. They need to like to talk about the latest and the greatest. They're information specialists. That's probably where I would fall. And then there are salesmen or saleswomen, which are persuasive in their sales. They have energy and enthusiasm. And so he takes many different fads and things that were great products. 
The reason businesses fail is not because they don't have great products. They always have great products. It's because they cannot get to this tipping point. They can't combine the people with the information with the sales, those three pieces together. So I highly recommend both of these books. I really enjoy them on Audible. Subscribe to our channel and listen next Monday for the next book review.